Hi, Paso Levo family, welcome. And we are here today with our cooking uh, pantry that uh, we open up for you guys every once in a while. We have covered quite a bit of our pantry, so that means all of the goodies that aren't the olive oil um, involved in our website, on in our, our tasting uh, rooms. And we have opened up, we've done the mustards, the balsamics and vinegars, we've done the spreads, the hot pepper, berry, bacon, jam, all of that goodness. We have not covered the nut crumbs. And the reason we do all of this is so that when you are joining the club and are thinking, okay, what is it that I can put towards the uh, club shipment or the club pickups? Does it have to be olive oil? No, it doesn't. And it can change all the time. Whatever you want, you create. So these nut crumbs are something we brought in, I want to say maybe a year ago, and maybe a little over a year ago, and uh, they sold out almost immediately. And then we realized what we had on our hands. I'm not paleo, gluten-free, sugar-free, any of that, and vegan, keto. These are, and I still, I'm, I'm in love with them. You don't have to be on the keto diet. You don't have to be um, following the paleo regimen. Uh, you just have to have taste buds because you're gonna fall in love with them. And I'm here today. I know I've had quite a few people within the last week buy them and be like, get excited about what they're going to do with them. So I'm here today to push you even further, get give you ideas. And if you have any questions about nut crumbs, that's what I'm here for today. If you tell us what you've used the nut crumbs on, let's share, let's talk about it. I know that you can always hop on Instagram and see all the amazing pictures that people post of uh, what they make with our products. But uh, today, let's all share, let's all gang up together and um, see how these nut crumbs kind of wound into our lives and now are not going anywhere. So um, I just wanna go through uh, each one of them, what's in each one of them, and then we're gonna get into some recipes. Uh, let's start off with the original. It makes sense, right? Good place to start. So original nut crumbs. This is a fantastic place to start because you can go from here and take any of our seasonings and add our seasonings to this. The spring blend, the spicy Italian, the smoky spice. You can do any of that, mix it with the original and create your own flavor. So this is a fantastic staple to start off with. Um, there are three other flavors that we have as well. So we'll get into that, but the original has cashews, almonds, pistachios, kosher salt, black pepper. Really simple, really easy to interact with. Take your panko, toss it out the window, <laughs> or don't. <laughs> if you're in a two-story, don't do that, that's dangerous. Um, take your breading, all of that, replace it. I'm, I'm challenging you, it's a challenge. Take this and use it instead of your breading and let me know what you think because I think you'll be happily surprised. So two out of the four start off with that, um, that recipe, the cashews, the almonds, the pistachios, the kosher salt, and the black pepper. That guy, the original, and our coconut curry, boop, right here. So this guy also, on top of that, has coconut flakes and yellow curry powder. So this is called the coconut curry nut crumbs. Um, these guys, I don't really want to go into res recipes right now, but they are fantastic. Let's put it that way. Uh, so this just adds a whole different flair of, and flavor, um, kind of that Thai flavor, I want to say, uh, to your cooking. We'll go into recipes. God, hold back, Eleanor. We'll go into recipes soon, but let's bring out the other two. And the other two, what's different about these guys, this one, the Italian and this guy, the spicy, um, they have cashews, almonds, and instead of pistachios, they have pecans. I don't know if you know of anybody who has specific allergies to pistachios. 
but they can have these instead. Ta-da! <laughs> um, and if you have a specific allergy to pecans, you can switch it over to the other ones because they have pistachios. So uh, this is the Italian nut crumb. Uh, I use this an awful lot as well. And this is um, not only the cashews, the almonds, and the pecans, but also um, garlic powder, basil, and parsley. A really nice light Italian mix. We've got that guy, and last but not least, the spicy, that's the one with the red. And the spicy has the cashews, everybody say it along with me, the cashews, the almonds, the pecans, but then also uh, it's got everything spicy possible. <laughs> <laughs> cayenne pepper, garlic, chili powder, paprika, and crushed red peppers. So this, if you like a little bit of heat, this is right up your alley. Um, think barbecue, um, like a uh, buffalo wing type style, right? Um, so that is what's involved in each one. They are naturally gluten-free, they are um, sugar-free, they are paleo, like I said, they're vegan, they're keto. They are fantastic to use across the board. So I'm talking the original. Pair it up with our sugar and spice and then put it on Greek yogurt with some honey. It's awesome. Uh, you can also pair it up with our sugar and spice and put it as a crumble on top of some baked apples as like an apple crumble. A lot of people who are trying to go keto or have to go gluten-free, um, they don't get that crumble quite often and they can't do the flour and all of that. So this is a perfect way to bring in that fantastic crunchy mouthfeel uh, without having to uh, gamble <laughs> with one's health. Uh, so the original can be used in pretty much anything and everything. Don't let it... Um, kind of weigh on you that there's salt and pepper because that salt and pepper really works well with sweet desserts. So uh, it is a fun one to kind of play with because you really want that, um, the sweet, the salty, a uh, little bit of heat works really well with sugar um, or with sweets. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through uh, a list of the different ways that um, nut crumbs can be used, and then we'll go into some specific recipes. Uh, but stuffing mushrooms, and we're talking any of these flavors work for these, depending on the flavor profile you're looking for. Uh, so stuff portobellos, um, breading, anything, fish, chicken, cauliflower, um, avocados, any of that, if you have a little bowl of milk and a little bowl of eggs that you've whipped up. Mix those two together. Get that those eggs and milk. Take whatever it is that you're going to be breading or encrusting, let's put it that way, because we're not using bread. Uh, cover it up and then roll it around in the nut crumbs. This is a perfect time to use your air fryer. We all have the air fryer because like two Christmases ago, everybody bought an air fryer and now it's sitting there and it's really big and it's guilting you because you hardly ever use it, this is your time. Air fry anything with these nut crumbs. Win, total win. I would, oh my gosh. Have you ever had those fresh uh, ravioli? Take those, coat them in that um, milk and egg coating, toss them in the Italian nut crumbs and then air fry them. You're welcome. Then take our marinara sauce that we covered in one of the pantries and dip and enjoy. Oh, and open up a bottle of red wine because you deserve it. Um, so ideas like that, uh, there's just so many options for um, when you encrust or bread something. Um, and you can use these nut crumbs for any of that. Um, let's see. I have used the Italian nut crumbs more than ever in, um, I use turkey, ground turkey, but ground beef, ground turkey for meatballs, for burgers, for meatloaf. It just adds a beautiful mouthfeel to it. Remember, these are nut crumbs, so you are adding in some protein, you're adding in some fiber, stuff that you would not be adding in if you just had an empty kind of panko um, style breading. So the, these are, this is health food. 
but yummy. And I think that's pretty much what Paso Vivo kind of stands for too. Uh, the extra virgin olive oil, our oils, everything that's organic and sustainably grown, fresh, local health food. You wanna take care of your body and we're here to help you out and um, here to make it so you don't have to just boil chicken and broccoli and call it a day. No, we got you. You don't need to do that, we can upgrade. Um, so anything Parmesan, so you do chicken Parmesan, um, eggplant parm, any of that works beautifully, especially with those Italian nut crumbs, but any of them. Um, let's see, uh, sprinkling on salads so that you have a different mouthfeel. I know we're, we're all used to cr croutons, but um, croutons are there for a different mouthfeel. So that's their job. Nut crumbs do exactly that, but in a way healthier way. So you can even take the nut crumbs, toss them with some olive oil and roast them up real quick or pan, you know, cook them up so that you've actually roasted up the nuts a bit and you get that beautiful flavor. Um, it's a nice, warm, rich flavor and then putting it on a salad just completely elevates it. So salads, um, I've already mentioned putting it on Greek yogurt. I've already mentioned putting it uh, with apple crumbles. On our website, your club members, you love us, you follow us, you already know that the website has a ton of recipes. Um, but I wanted to break down the recipes that specifically have our nut crumbs in them so that you can hop online anytime, pasolivo.com, and um, check out the recipes so that you can follow any of those and kind of tweak them, make them your own. So uh, the on our website, type in nut crumbs at the top and what that'll do is not only pull up all of the options, the shopping options for the different nut crumbs, Yo, there's this and there's this and there's that, um, but also it's going to show you all the recipes that mention nut crumbs in them. Easy, right? Then you can, usually there's a picture there and so you can get your, your mouth watering because you're like, yep, that's what I want. And we've got a rice, rice pilaf, um, a ramen bowl, baked avocados, oh, so good. Uh, jalapeno appetizer, which is like a jalapeno popper, but in that, that crunchiness is the nut crumbs. Um, the baked avocado uses the Italian nut crumbs and again, can be baked or air fried. And um, the, we also, there was also a, a cocktail. Were you guys, do you guys remember when we worked with Alchemist? Um, yeah, so Alchemist Garden, they actually coated a cherry with our nut crumbs and then used it as a garnish on a cocktail. So the My Cherry Old Fashioned is there online as well. And you can then take not only the food, but also create that cocktail too. We're here for, we're like a one-stop shop. You're welcome. I know those, the jalapeno poppers look amazing. Uh, they're with goat cheese. So yeah, right. And then, um, so is the, the baked avocado. The ramen bowl actually has it sprinkled on the top. Again, mouthfeel wise, these are gorgeous. It just adds a whole different level. Um, but I saw recently a cauliflower uh, recipe where you slice the cauliflower in half or in bits coat it with that egg and milk, and then coat it with one of the many different nut crumbs. And from there, you again, put it in the air fryer, either the air fryer for 15 minutes at 370, or you put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 400. And then you have these beautiful encrusted cauliflower Then you can dip. Um, we have great pairings and um, we're here to help you not only get your cocktail on, not only get your recipe going and your health food going strong, but also to help you with gifting. And I think a lot of people who join the club are excited about that because everybody's got a foodie in their life who's a nightmare to shop for. And uh, this is exactly the way to help them out and hook them up with some good food that they are going to be thrilled about. So I just wanted to kind of point out how beautifully all some of our things go together. So we've got the Italian nut crumbs, super user-friendly. They're chicken parm, eggplant parm, uh, meatballs, just uh, on top of pastas, in your marinara sauce, these guys. Then 
What if you were to gift the basil olive oil? I'm covering up her name, shame on me. So the basil olive oil, we all know is a favorite. Uh, never in my years of working here have I had somebody taste it and be like, man, it's all right. They always taste it and go, oh my God. And so whenever anybody comes into the store and says, I'm here to buy a gift, what should I buy? The basil always comes to mind because it is a trustworthy slam dunk. So if you wanted to create a bundle, we've got the Italian nut crumbs, the basil olive oil, and that spicy Italian blend to upgrade your Italian flavors in here. So if you bring all of these three together, this is just, I mean, it's a ready, set, go situation. It's perfect for veggies that you're going to be cooking up. Um, when I make, so ground turkey, this, this, smush it all up together into balls, then heat this up in a pan. Uh, if you can, if you've got a, a, a cast iron, perfect. Put in your turkey meatballs, cook them on all different sides, and then stuff them in the oven for the end. So amazing. And then you can do our marinara sauce over the top, and put melt some, some Parmigiano Reggiano on there, and you are set. Right? Healthy, good, all really fresh food, so I've got you. Um, so that's what I wanna make sure that I'm pointing out, is that that Italian blend works beautifully paired up with our basil, it works amazingly. Uh, if you want to ramp up that Italian flavor with our spicy Italian blend. We've got so many oils and so many great pairings. So this coconut curry, I know it sold out, so maybe you, this is gonna be a shock to you that we have this bag, but we have a bag, the red jalapeno, guys. If you've tried it, you know you're in love. I haven't once had somebody try it at the tasting room and not end up walking out with it, to be honest with you. It is beautiful. It's got a really, it's got a respect to the red jalapeno flavor because it's got great flavor to it and then that heat at the very end. So these two work well together. They've got the coconut curry and then the heat. So you've got that nice Thai flavor going on. Maybe slice up some or get some chicken breasts, coat them like we talked about coating them in this guy and then take the red jalapeno, cook them up in the red jalapeno, but also what I have found and fall in love with is taking peanut butter, mixing it with the red jalapeno for a Thai peanut sauce that is out of control. So these two, but also the cilantro lime works beautifully with these guys. Cause you know that lime flavor is in a lot of, uh, cuisine that has curry in it. The coconut, the lime, it just makes sense. Oh, if some of you started singing that song, uh, you're guilting yourself, you're, you're dating yourself. And the fact that I even mentioned that song has dated me. So we're just gonna ignore that and move on. No lime in the coconut. <laughs> um, so we also have, if you are not a cilantro fan, we also have the regular lime and the regular lime, again, with the coconut curry nut crumbs, perfect. Um, the spicy, so the spicy nut crumbs, like I mentioned, treat them like you would a, like a, a nice spicy buffalo sauce. Uh, so you're getting your chicken tenders, you're coating them, cooking them up with this, baking them up, air frying with these. And then from there, you can then use you know we have four different mustards, right? We've already covered it, so obviously you do. We've got the dulce garlic, we've got the sugar kissed jalapeno, which has a crazy cult following around here. Um, we've got my favorite, the roasted garlic champagne mustard, and um, let's see, which one? I Ooh, and the fiery ale. Do you have somebody in your life that likes heat? <laughs> I feel like an infomercial, do you? Because the spicy nut crumbs, the fiery ale, uh, mustard that we have is insane. The fiery ale comes from um, chili pepper, cayenne pepper, and the ale is IPA win, right? So the, those two together, maybe the red jalapeno, 
I'm getting a little spicy in here, right? Everybody likes a little bit of heat. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about bundles. If you're creating for yourself as a gift for yourself, if you're doing it for somebody else, if you're just looking to create a club membership um, shipment, March, we're coming up to March and March is the next club shipment. So we'll be emailing you guys, club members, and uh, we'll be reaching out about what you want in your shipment. It may be what we suggest, but maybe it's a whole bundle of other stuff because you know you can completely customize your bundles. So this is, these, these can be tossed in there. My suggestion is do it. At least choose two different flavors and play with them because I feel like you're going to get hooked because I did. And again, I'm not any of the, it's like, oh, but I'm not gluten-free. I feel like I can go with, no, this is an upgrade. It's a total upgrade. If you get a little, if you're like a little tentative about it, take 50% panko and 50% original nut crumbs, mix them th together and see what happens. But eventually that panko is just going right out the window. Again, <laughs> we're tossing things out the window. We're being dangerous today. Please don't do that. I did not tell you to do that. Um, so the spicy nut crumbs, anything um, Mexican. So say uh, Taco Tuesdays. We love tacos. I love tacos. I love tacos. Uh, but let's change up the meat because it's constantly the same thing. For me, it is at my house at least. So if you're doing ground beef, ground turkey, toss this into the ground beef and ground turkey and get that nice flavor involved in there. Um, if you are doing fish tacos, coat them with this guy or, or the original and then toss, put them into your tacos. Totally different game, different players full-blown win. Uh, so yeah, this guy, um, fajitas, tostadas, even if you just sprinkle it on top, just brings that heat, elevates it, gets those great flavors. Remember, this has got cayenne, paprika, chili powder, uh, crushed, crushed red peppers. So it's got a lot of, um, a lot of, of dynamics there, a lot of flavor profiles in there. So you won't be able to really put your finger on where the heat is. It's gonna be this nice rounded out heat. So this is one of those that'll work well for a lot of things. You don't have to have a specific cuisine that you're going for, which is nice. Um, everybody's here and waving and loving it, but also nobody's giving me feedback except for how much they love them. So I'll take it, I know, I'll take it. Um, We've got our mustards that work really well once you have encrusted any uh, veggies, meats, anything with any of these guys. Um, and I wanna make sure I've covered everything. I think I have. Um, if you have any ideas, this, obviously this is live and um, we have people who join us live and then there's people who watch this afterwards. Go ahead and comment down below about what you do with your nut crumbs. What's your favorite thing to do? What is your go-to recipe um, that um, just makes it a staple in your house? Uh, they just go so well with our olive oils. They just make sense together. So when you swing in to do some shopping, pick up a bag while you pick up a bottle. If you come in to do tasting, make sure that we bring out those nut crumbs because I'm guilty of this. There's so many flavors that I'm bringing to the table literally when um, I'm doing tastings for people that quite often the uh, nut crumbs go to the wayside. So don't let me do that. <laughs> don't let us do that. Call us out and say, hey, I really wanna taste those nut crumbs because we will bring them out and then you can use your bread that fancy bread that we give you guys, and you can dip into the oil and into the, the nut crumbs so you can really get a, a mouth feel um, and really get an understanding of how the two pair up well together. And from there, I, I'm positive that you'll fall in love. So um, if you have any questions, that's what we're here for. Please touch base with us either through Instagram. You can always DM us. You can always um, give us a call at either tasting room, our downtown tasting room, our ranch. They're both open. We're doing tastings in either locations. So it, we love chatting to you guys. We love being able to answer your questions and help you out as much as possible. I know that everything is on the website too, but we're small batch and we're here. 
and we're here for you guys. And that's kind of one of the, the beauties and probably one of the reasons that you've fallen in love with us is because we are here for you at all times. Um, we all love what we do and we love helping you guys out. So make sure that you reach out if you have any questions um, or are stumped at any point. I've got these oils, I've got these nut crumbs, what can I do? I wanna cook something tonight, but what? We're here, we get excited, we'll call it out to everybody. Okay, what, what would you do with this? So we're here for you. Um, Make sure you're posting your pictures of all your cooking because that is the best. And uh, we will see you next week. So next week we are, and it, it's funny because every time I mention this to people when we're doing a tasting, their eyes get big and they're like, what? I never thought about that. And then their life is changed. Have you ever put olive oil on your popcorn? If you haven't, be prepared to change your life. <laughs> Next week, March 5th, we are giving you gourmet popcorn. So <clears throat> the reason that I'll never go back to butter, not that I don't like butter, but uh, butter will seize up. You melt some butter and try to coat it onto um, popcorn, it will seize up. So you'll get one or two kernels that are just like, ooh, yeah, and then the rest of them, mm, not so much. So what's beautiful about coating your popcorn with olive oil, um, and yes, cooking your popcorn with olive oil if you're starting from the actual kernel, um, you, as you know, all of these have a smoke point of 425, so you can put this in your pan and pop up your popcorn in your pot um, with rosemary olive oil, with the basil, with the garlic lemon. So there are options here. Um, once you've popped it though, drizzle it with olive oil, it's going to coat everything. That doesn't mean that the very top gets the olive oil and the rest doesn't, which is what happens with butter. You all know, because we've all done it. Um, it's gonna coat everything and it's got that great flavor. It is heart healthy. So again, we're kind of talking that health food kind of kick that we're on, um, the good for you health kick that we're on. Um, and then you can use any of our seasonings to pair up with the oils. So one of my favorites that I mention a lot, um, our recipe developer, uh, Noelle, will be bringing together a few others for us. Um, but I, I, she and I are both in agreement. The rosemary, which is my favorite oil, um, and the truffle salt. So I've, I've brought out the bag, but you know, the everything comes in bags or jars. So here's the jar, boop. Um, so the rosemary olive oil with the truffle salt on popcorn will blow your mind. Go ahead and try that between now and next week and see if you're hooked and see what other flavors we've got set up for you. We are going to be working with Park Cinemas, which is right downtown Paso. If you've walked that square, you have seen the, the, the facade. It is gorgeous. I love their outside. Um, Park Cinemas is smack dab in the middle of downtown Paso, and they are going to be taking their yummy, for fantastic, Movie theaters, I don't know why, they've got some magic popcorn or something. It always tastes better than the stuff at home for some reason. But they're, they're taking their magic popcorn and they're coating it with our olive oils, our seasonings, and we're going gourmet on popcorn. So uh, this is one of those times everybody can do this. It does not have to specifically, you know, oh, well, I'll give all this to my friend because she's a good cook and she can cook it for me or something. No, this is you. You can do this. We can all do this. So Hannah Woodall from Park Cinemas is going to be with us and she and I are going to play with popcorn next week. Uh, we are here to give you all kinds of ideas, whether it's cocktails, whether it's recipes, uh, salads, salmon. We want to be here, uh, uh, gelato, uh, smoothies. We've covered everything within the last almost year guys this is i think probably number 45 the shows that we've done so that's how crazy this this is just continued and i love it um and we are going on strong so we'll continue to do this for quite a while longer hopefully 
and um, each time we're going to be bringing new ideas to you so that you are never stumped. That's what we're here for. If you ever have any questions or ideas and want us to, uh, hey, can you do a show about this, that, the other? Yeah, let us know, reach out to us. We'll try to figure it out. Uh, we try to stay somewhat local with our restaurants so far and our distilleries and our businesses around here staying Paso strong. But we also like reaching out. Everybody remembers um, Chef Sebastian and he made an amazing salmon roulette. I wasn't able to pronounce it then, I still can't now. <laughs> but uh, his re recipes were amazing. So we are reaching out even outside of Paso. So if you know any wonderful cooks, who uh, are in love with our extra virgin olive oil and our olive oil and our stuff, let us know. Maybe we can do a pair up with them. Okay, guys, happy Friday, happy weekend. Um, we are moving directly into March. We have finished off February. We are plowing through this year <laughs> and we are um, trekking through to March 5th at two, we will see you for fancy popcorn. All right, guys, I'm Eleanor. Thank you for joining me and we will see you next week. Bye everybody.